Hi, my name is Annie Campbell. I'm a medical illustrator and animator, and welcome back to my channel. Over the past couple of months, a lot of you have taken the time to email me and say hi, and I want to say thank you so much for doing that. It's really made my day. Now, many of you have asked in your emails, how can you become a medical illustrator? So today I'm going to focus and share with you some resources to help you figure out what steps you need to take in order to become a professional medical illustrator. Now, the most common pathway of becoming a medical illustrator is to apply for one of the Masters in Medical Illustration programs. Now, many of you will have recently graduated. And for those of you who have, congratulations! And some of you might be considering on applying to one of these master's programs. So let's take a look at where they're located around the world. There are three programs in America, one program in Canada, three programs in the United Kingdom, one in the Netherlands, one in France, and one in Switzerland. Links to these programs have been listed in the description below. Now, I might have missed some, so feel free to put them in the comment section. Now, the reason that I've listed these particular programs are because they're listed in the associations that us professional medical illustrators are a part of. And these are the AMI, the MAA, and AIMS. I highly recommend you take a look at what these organizations have to offer, especially in the resources section, where you can find out more into becoming a medical illustrator as well. Now many of you have asked what is it that you need to do in order to apply to one of these programs. And that's really easy. Check out their admissions criteria and prerequisites. You might find that you hit everything on there you can apply straight away. If you're like me, you might not have everything that they have listed. So you might need to undertake some more courses. So I'm going to use myself as an example. I graduated with a neuroscience degree, so I had all of the science credits, but absolutely no art credits. In fact, the last time that I did art before I applied was in high school and it was great. So yeah. Now I was worried and I'm sure like many of you are that I would need to take another three to four year undergraduate art course, which is so long and also really costly. But luckily that wasn't the case. What I did was I got in touch with the admissions office of the school I was interested in. They put me in contact with one of the lecturers and we had a great talk. As a result, I took a year out. I enrolled in some art classes at a local community college to fill up my art credits and build a portfolio. At the same time, I took my GRE because I was an international student applying for one of the US programs. And I also saved some money up in order to move to the United States to study. So if you're serious about doing a master's in medical illustration, here are a few things just to get you started. Check out all the programs that are available. Look at the requirements and prerequisites of the ones that you're interested in. Get in touch with the program people to find out what gaps you need to fill and start planning on what next steps you need to take in order to apply. It might seem overwhelming at first, but don't worry. Break it down into small steps and work out a timeline. Feel free to ask questions by commenting below or if you can offer any other advice as well. Good luck and keep in touch and let me know how you guys are doing. Thanks for watching.